Hi everyone, sorry for that uh, cut. But what happened is the last couple videos got so long that I actually ran out of disk space, and so Frap stopped recording on me. Once I figured out what had happened, I made a perma save right back where we were, and I also took advantage of the opportunity to experiment and find reliable ways of accomplishing the double takedowns. So, again, sorry for that hiccup, sorry for this cut, but this perma save should be right where we left off. Chapter 5, Ghosts and Proxy Soldiers. Inexplicably denied access to the augmented terrorist's corpse, Seraph sent Jensen to steal the dead man's neural hub from the morgue. At the same time, Frank Pritchard, Seraph's chief of cybersecurity, tried to figure out how the AUG had bypassed the company's firewall so easily. The hub Jensen steals provides his first clue. Turns out a very talented hacker had been controlling the terrorist's actions remotely, possibly from somewhere in Detroit. So what ends up being the key... ...is getting in here and waiting... ...for the gentleman who was leaning on the wall to settle down from his long alert. And it'll be a bit of a wait, because he's gonna go take a li- It'll be a bit of a wait, sorry if you couldn't hear that, because he's literally gonna go take a leak. And then he'll come back as if he was leaning on the wall, even though it's not there anymore. Once he's back at that spot, we can then lure this guy down. First by being seen and hiding behind that barricade, and then if I fire a pistol shot into the wall right next to the door, most of the time, I can pull him down. Quiet. I think I heard something. That didn't quite work out, but you get the general idea. Jesus, what is it now? Who's over there? Usually, once I manage to get a visual alert from the guy up the stairs, he comes down looking for me. Oh, well, let's just try again. Quiet. I think I heard something. Get you! Someone was here. Too slow. <laughs> but we'll get it, don't you worry. Looks like something moving around over there. Yo, if you in here, you better come out. Okay, here he comes. This is what we needed. Could have swore there was something. Anyone hear that? You hear something? That's what we're looking for. Double takedown. Without being sighted by either guy. That's just perfect. So, he's got two pistol bullets. Might as well load him in here. This one's got three plus 23 credits. So I get a full reload of my pistol. Excuse me. Plus one extra shot, which I'll just get rid of. And now I can explore this room at my leisure. Not that there's much to find in here. I already got the pocket secretary. The only other thing to do is make sure you get this Hugh Darrow ebook. 
200 XP, Vestibular Augmentation and Enhanced Agility Factoring, from a technology demonstration lecture presented to the United States Air Force in August 2015 by Hugh, Dr. Hugh Darrow of Darrow Industries. The human vestibular system governing our sense of spatial orientation is made up of many sensory inputs and outputs mediated by reflex actions in the spinal cord, inner ear, nerve impulses, and ultimately conscious control by the cerebral cortex. Vestibular augmentation technology originally developed to help fighter pilots and astronauts counteract effects from g-forces or anti-gravity has now evolved to a stage where it can be used not only to retain a normal sense of agility, but also to enhance an existing one. A distributed network of pressure-sensitive neural implants can signal a series of integrated circuits to manipulate the vestibulo-ocular reflex, VOR. This is a reflex eye movement that stabilizes images on the retina during head movement by producing an eye movement in the opposite direction, thus preserving the image on the center of the visual field. The system also manipulates the vestibular system within the inner ear. In other words, by electrically stimulating afferent neurons, the system replaces absent sensory function by providing stimulation that moderates above and below a baseline. When engaged in an accelerated mode, it provides a means to override natural variations and enable enhanced control over limbs beyond the standard degrees of freedom. Interesting. So there's one more double takedown we have to arrange. The other two are very easy to pull off. But even this one we have to arrange isn't very hard to arrange. We do want to get it while that guy is on the end of his patrol that he just left. But the way we can do it is actually really easy. If I remember right, he'll just turn around and go back the way he came. And at that point, there's a patroller through the door who isn't nearly as range-construed as some of his buddies have been. And if I let him see Jensen, he'll actually come outside. So, that's what we want to do. So... I like to do this, let the guy turn around. Then I come over here. Time for some fun. I have to let the guy in the hallway see me long enough to come look for me, but briefly enough that he doesn't go outright hostile. It's not actually that tough, but. Too long. Just gotta gotta find that fine line. He'll he'll usually say something. What was that? Here he comes. You're here. You better come out. You high again? Wasting my time. No one's here. Oh, this is almost perfect. Almost. Didn't quite work out. Which sucks. Because I think I saved inside the tunnel. Wasting my time. No one's here. Wait a minute. 
Yeah. Shoot. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to start the setup over at the beginning again, but... I heard that! Stop messing around! Must have imagined it. Hey, anyone there? Maybe I can encourage him to stay out here longer. Nope. I think I'm probably just gonna have to do the patient approach and wait a little bit longer. I heard that. As Stop offensive as that is to me. I'm wasting my time. No one's here. Well, unless I can, unless I can place the shot so that the lower guy moves up there faster. Must have imagined it. Or the upper guy stays out longer. I got neither one that time. Okay, if I can just get spotted long enough for it to for a search before the guy get him. Oh Jensen. Before the guy turns around for good, I'll have it. But it's probably not gonna happen. Hey, anyone there? Just gradually moving him closer and closer to the other guy with my little trail of pistol bullets. Let's try one more. Wasting my time. No one's here. Someone fired off. Damn it. I need the other guy to be the one who stays alert. Got him. And we are undetected. 
All right. He's got pistol ammo. Let's reload. Let's find the pistol he dropped. There'll be some extra ammo there, too. Perfect. Fully reloaded. I can now drop the extra bullets. Search this guy, who's got 27 credits plus more pistol ammo. And most importantly, I'm going to make a new permasave. That's the last tough double takedown. And all roads lead through that door. But before I get through there, let's wrap up our last outstanding side quest. Drop through this hole, and we have located the DRB weapon cache. That's worth 750 XP, plus we get a 100 XP exploration bonus for finding the area. And our new objective is to identify O'Malley's sh weapon shipment. Looks like the DRBs have a lot of weapons here. I need to identify the shipment that came from O'Malley. It must be hidden within this cache somewhere. Alright, that's all pretty straightforward. And I never actually looked at this. M7, stopping the transmission. Primary objectives, locate and shut down antenna in derelict row. Looks like Seraph's network security is being threatened by a transmission coming from derelict row, gang territory. They aren't going to like me invading their turf, but I have to find the antenna that's broadcasting that transmission and hack it to shut off the signal. I think that's everything. Yes, done, 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 okay. So over here, there's a machine pistol, a combat rifle, a pistol, an ammo capacity upgrade, which I will naturally put on my pistol. With that in hand, let's reload the pistol again just because it can now hold 19 bullets. That's fun. Two frag grenades, which I will take both of. And finally, there's the weapon shipment. Got 100 XP, and our current objective is now return to Jenny. Looks like I've got everything I need to incriminate O'Malley. Now it's time to debrief Jenny face to face. She's probably still on the corner where I first met up with her, in front of Derelict Row. So, let's head out there. We haven't quite neutralized everybody in Derelict Row yet. There are four bad guys left, but they're all in very convenient pairs and, well, two pairs, and they're both through that doorways. One thing I have also verified, when we inevitably confront O'Malley, he will see us and try to attack us, but that doesn't ruin our ghost bonus. I figured out that in addition to all of the other finesses on it, the alerts that potentially ruin Ghost don't carry over across area boundaries, and Derelict Row is counted as a separate area from the rest of the Detroit city streets. So, let's just talk to Jenny. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. Complete quest. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. You identified the shipment completely unnoticed, and my guys got their hands on Double T. Awesome job. What else you got? We got a thousand XP for dealing with... <clears throat> for completing the objective, plus 750 bonus for staying undetected in Derelict Row. Let's hit Motive. I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the Derelict Row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. Crossbow! Give! Here's the weapon used in the dealer's murder. Hope you can make good use of it. You bet, big boy. I've got a feeling O'Malley's guy will become a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. Evidence! I paid a little B&E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware. 
but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? I managed to hack into his personal account. I think you might want to check any connection O'Malley has with FEMA. There's definitely something going on there. My god, Jensen. With all you've uncovered, you've probably provided us with months of legal investigation. What's next? You're gonna tell me you've found proof he's got free satellite TV? No, that about covers it. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? We got an ammo capacity upgrade and a thousand credits as a reward. Except this. It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. My contact tells me O'Malley's gone back to his apartment. Go get him. I'll be waiting for you in the alley near the building once you've taken care of that scumbag. Alright. So that's all pretty straightforward. First, I'm not sure I've ever examined one of these. Ammo capacity upgrade. Extended magazine upgrade modification for weapons. Use. Adds a few bullets to the weapons magazine. Description. The extended magazine upgrade replaces a weapon's existing ammunition magazine with a larger, greater capacity version. Manufacturer Kaiga LTD. Let's go ahead and put that on our pistol. Which I think, yes, my ammo capacity is now fully upgraded. Awesome. And my new objective is go to O'Malley's apartment. Jenny's got enough evidence to send O'Malley away for a long time. Problem is, he's not going to go down without a fight. If I really want to see this investigation through, I should probably make my way back to O'Malley's apartment and deal with him personally. Oh. Did you deal with O'Malley? You have to get him, Jensen. That's all for now. Okay. Now, we have a choice when we run into O'Malley, so I'm gonna have to save to show you both options, because... You want to go with the good guy option, it's worth more experience, but there is an achievement for going with the bad guy option, so... Gotta get the achievement, and then reload and do the real version. So I'll show you the less than ethical way to complete the quest first. Alright, he's right in here. So, let's go ahead and save. Hundred XP for completing go to O'Malley's apartment. Now we have deal with O'Malley. I told Jenny I'd help her deal with O'Malley. I could just knock him out cold and let the cops pick him up, but I could try to reason with him instead. So let's speak to him. Mr. Jensen. Don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete. Cold. You play a dangerous game, O'Malley. Manipulating people, killing them. What's happening here shouldn't come as a surprise. It's an inevitable consequence. In the end, it seems you and I aren't so different, Mr. Jensen. You too seem to consider this world only through cold, hard facts. Whatever. I'm here to arrest you. I strongly suggest you consider a peaceful resolution. I'm afraid I won't be able to comply, Mr. Jensen. But allow me to make you a different offer. Listen. I'm listening. I don't resent you for what you did. You played your cards and alliances well, and it's something I can respect. Still, it doesn't mean that I accept defeat. I'm willing to transfer to you a rather enviable sum in exchange for my freedom. Except. All right. But don't try to pull anything. Now, come on, Mr. Jensen. When haven't I been the perfect gentleman? The money is in your apartment on your table. Now, if you excuse me, I have somewhere to be. 
So he disappears. We get 100 XP, and it tells us to return to Jenny. I'm going to load up my pistol again. I think it ends up holding a total of 22 rounds. In order to finalize the achievement, I'm going to leave Jenny alone and go to Jensen's apartment, first and foremost. Because I don't think it gave it to me yet, did it? No. Didn't think so. Oh, we did get, at some point... Uh, consciousness is overrated. Knock out at least 100 enemies in a single playthrough. Awesome. 14 out of 49, 28%. I missed whenever that actually happened. But it did. So anyway, if you go with this option, you get the business with O'Malley is over. It's time to go debrief Jenny. She's waiting for me in the alley behind O'Malley's building. But we gotta go to Jensen's apartment. Thank you, Adam. Up we go. Sorry, my mouthpiece keeps getting moved. I am eating breakfast while I record this. Up we go. Into our apartment. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. On the table, you find... A bottle of wine, an e-book, a little something to thank you. Greetings, Mr. Jensen. I have taken the liberty of offering you a little gift. Nothing like a good bottle to express gratitude, wouldn't you say? After all, money is so impersonal. Your dearest friend, Jack O'Malley. Combat rifle on the desk. The wine. Yes, we've already seen that. And the payoff is 3,000 credits. Reestablishing security system. Which is actually a lot of credits. But I'm not seeing the achievement pop up, so maybe I need to complete the quest with Jenny too. Yeah, I must need to, so we'll get Cloak and Daggers and The Take at the same time. The Take is a secret achievement, of course. Welcome to the Detroit Automated but, <clears throat> as awesome as 3,000 credits is, I would really, generally speaking, I would have no qualms about being evil, but... As awesome as 3,000 credits is, I consider 200 experience even more awesome. And you get that bonus experience for being a good guy and taking O'Malley down. That's what we'll do as soon as I secure this achievement. So let's talk to Jenny with bad news. So? What happened? Complete quest. He wasn't in there. I think he's gone. Someone must have tipped him off. If he's really gone, that's it. No way we'll get another poke at a sneaky bastard like that. Ugh, months of work gone to shit. If you don't mind, I gotta be alone, Jensen. I need to wrap my head around all this. There it is. Two achievements unlocked. Cloak and Daggers and The Take. 
completing the quest is worth a thousand experience, period, no matter what, which is fun. We've earned 16 out of 49, 32%. Cloak and daggers deal with the man in the shadows. And just as soon as I can pull it up to read the little description to you. The take. Greedy bastard, you accepted O'Malley's blood money and let him go. Anyway, we don't actually want to do that, though. Now, this is important. In order to really maximize your experience, the only way you get the full 300 is to listen to O'Malley's offer, decline, and then take him down. So let's do that. Mr. Jensen. Don't know why I didn't recognize you the first... You play... In the app... Uh, Whatever. I'm a... F Listen. I'm listening. I don't res... Decline. I don't think so. No more games. You're going down. So be it. Who's... Take him down. We get neutralize O'Malley. Unequivocally. Or the methods used by and you notice we got 300 XP instead of 100 so neutralize O'Malley was uh O'Malley's on to me and he isn't thrilled about it I guess that means negotiation is out of the question either he's going down or I am and now return to Jenny the business with O'Malley is over it's time to go debrief Jenny she's waiting for me in the alley behind O'Malley's building while we're here just because I took 22 points of fall damage over in Derelict Row. I'm going to head up to the chop shop, the doctor's office, whatever you want to call it. Pick up the painkillers I left in here and bump myself back up to a cool 200 health. I'm also going to load up my pistol. There, my pistol's fully loaded. I'm at full health. Let's go outside and finally really complete this quest. Here is Ms. Alexander. So? What happened? Complete quest. He looked a bit tired and it made him grumpy. He's asleep now. All that's left to do is go in there and cuff him. I've always liked your style, Jensen. I know I've said it a couple of times already, but... Thanks. You've done a really good thing today. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? Good luck with, well, whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days. All right, that's that. Return to Jenny is over. We get completionist, <clears throat> 1,000 XP. You did a good thing, Jensen. Once a good cop, always a good cop, huh? You did the community and the precinct proud. You did the community and the precinct proud. All right, we're very nearly done in Detroit now. We've got... I think four DRB ganger, gang members plus like a hack standing between us and being completely finished. Well, let's head back into Derelict Row. All the way back.
And right up here to this door. Where we'll want to start being stealthy again. Go ahead and do a new perma save. Just because... Everything has been wrapped up in ideal fashion. You'll notice both of these guys are sitting down. So the no man, I thought we had cable. How comes I ain't getting nothing but Pike is moving? That's all we do get. Ever since that purity dude went up on the roof and hacked the antenna. Sanders friend? You let him up near the helipad? He said he'd get us porn. And you believed it? Fucking idiot. So, we got a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack there. Now, the DRB... The, because these guys are on the couch, I have to get them to stand up, which really isn't too hard. I just jump right here, duck behind the couch before either of them can turn. Then hop over and do the double takedown before anyone turns hostile. Pretty straightforward. That one had 58 credits, that one had 41 credits, and I'd dearly love it if Eliza Kassan would shut the hell up. Now let's head into the elevator. Just keep, go keep on going. Now up here are some more welcome supplies, although I do have to be careful getting them. Gotta go up another ladder first. In this hallway, there are four fragmentation mines. And we do need to be careful. Move up to each one slowly, disarm it, and take it. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Perfect. Now there are only two guards left and they're in a conversation. Assure him that these attacks are in I'd like to listen to the conversation and make sure I can still get the double takedown, so I'm telling you something big is going on in Highland Park. You know, Stewie didn't say much, but when he got close to the warehouse, there were already people in there. Was it the bangers? I heard they've been expanding out there. No, from what he described it, it was too slick even for them. High tech setup, serious firepower. How serious? Sounds like military grade stuff to me. And you know Stewie, he don't exaggerate. Got them both with a neat looking clipping error, but they're down. That one had 13 credits. That one had nothing. And that's it. So, let me check everything out before I hack the antenna. Malik will show up right on this helipad, pick us up, and take us out of the city, so... I don't think there's anything up here, but it pays to be certain. Alright, now we'll hack the antenna. Get whatever we can that way. Just a pretty basic level one grid. Nothing too worrisome. Fifty XP in one data store, Access stopworm granted. in the other data store, twenty-five XP for the base hack. Turn off the signal jammer. Boss, is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Farina, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Stay close to the antenna. Pritchard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. Two Praxis points available. Locate and shut down antenna in Derelict Row is complete. New objective is go to the helipad in Derelict Row. We got a 2500 point getting things done bonus, plus a 500 point ghost bonus. Most excellent. 
So, M8, extraction. Go to the helipad in derelict row. Time to move this investigation elsewhere. Seraph ordered Malik to do a flyby over derelict row before picking me up. Might as well meet her on that rooftop helipad near the antenna. Now that I have my two Praxis points, we'll get the Icarus landing system. Boom. Next, I want to get move throw heavy objects on my arm prosthesis, which should only cost one Praxis. Yes, there it is. So that'll be my next Praxis, and I actually don't think it'll take too long to get. But let's head up here. Use the helicopter. Mr. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Ready. Yeah, let's go. Great. Detroit Local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on. 1,000 more XP for that. And the game is going to spawn us in Highland Park. As soon as any introductory chatter is done, I will call it a video. Richard, you got coordinates on that factory yet? I was only able to pinpoint an approximate area, Jensen. So scout around and look for anything unusual. I'll keep monitoring the frequency in case it suddenly goes active. Alright. <clears throat> so, I still have no available praxis, but... M9, the transmission. Investigate the area. The terrorist in the morgue was being controlled by someone else, and Pritchard thinks the hacker who did the controlling was operating from this area. I need to search for signs of him. Alright, pretty easy. So, let's quick save. Let's perma save. For sure. And I'm going to call it a video. So, this has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Again, I'm sorry for the hiccup in that last Northern Detroit derelict row section. But thank you for watching. Next time, we'll tackle Highland Park. Bye-bye.